Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a book review video for you today. It's quite a different kind of video and that you can't see my face, you can just see some books. Uh, basically the lighting was awful today and it just didn't want to work for me. So here we are. So I realise I haven't done any book reviews in ages in well probably a few months uh, and I thought that's a bit shambolic really so here I am with a book review video so the first book I read is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens I've really enjoyed this book especially the characters uh, the way the characters interact with one another their motives I found that really fascinating also I didn't realize how different the musical is to the book uh, I've only seen the musical, I haven't seen any other films related to Oliver Twist before. Uh, also it's beautiful, beautiful edition as you can see from the hardback here under the dust jacket, very very nice. Um, yeah I enjoyed this book a lot, there were some things that I found quite confusing about it but after that I enjoyed it a lot, would recommend. The next book I read was The Unbearable Lightness of Being by, I can't pronounce his name, oh god, I have opinions about this one. So there were some quotes that are really lovely, some lovely writing, but most of the time, very pretentious. The way he writes about women in areas are awful. Um, I didn't enjoy that at all. It's a shame because I had high hopes for this book but nah wasn't good next I read The Fault in Our Stars I previously read Looking for Alaska I enjoyed that this I enjoyed probably on the same level but I don't understand why it's so popular if I'm going to be honest I think it's just because the film it w well I haven't seen the film but the film must be a good adaptation of it see nice little pictures we have inside the book of the film as well yeah, I enjoyed the story. It's a bit, it's a bit cliche in it, but that's all right. We don't mind a few cliches here and there. So basically, well, you know what the story is, probably. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed the plot. Uh, I liked that some of it was set in Amsterdam because I love Amsterdam. I really, really like Amsterdam. It's a beautiful place. Yeah, I, is it just average, really? An average read. Uh, some enjoyability of that classic YA book there. Next I read The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, a classic. I love this edition, I found it in an Oxfam in somewhere I can't remember, I think it was Coventry. Um, yeah, it was only £1.99, excellent. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. The chapters confused me at first. I was like, is this printed wrong? But no, it's not. Yeah, beautiful style. Uh, a dystopian fiction follows a lady, basically, who... Uh, oh, oh, God, how do I spoil it? Basically, she's trying to give birth, and if she doesn't, then... I'm just explaining it terribly. Basically, she has to give birth for these two people, and if she doesn't, then it's looked down upon, basically. Oh god, that's such a terrible explanation. Yeah, enjoyed that very much. Very poetic. Mucho enjoyo. Next, I read The Testament by Margaret Atwood. So this is the sequel, as you probably know. Co won the Booker Prize, did a video on it already. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I like this hardback edition. It's very pretty. What more can I say? It reads like a YA. I've already done a video on it. But that's alright. I don't mind that it reads like a YA. I don't mind that it's not as poetic as The Handmaid's Tale. Uh, yeah, I like I like it. I like the viewpoints from it. Again, I just love taking dust jackets and things, apparently. Really nice, I don't know what you call that. Fabric bookmark tail thing. Nice, bright green. Very nice design, I thought. Also, the spine on it. The spine is so much nicer. The UK edition compared to the American edition. Uh, it's not that different, but just, you know, you'll know if you've seen it, what I mean. Um, what more can I say about this? It's a beautiful book. Uh, yeah, it follows three different viewpoints, and one viewpoint I found quite controversial, because that person was in The Handmaid's Tale, and they were a baddie. Anyway, next I read The Farm, although this says Welcome to Golden Oaks on the front, because it's an arc. 
How exciting is that? Uh, yeah, so I must warn you that this is an arc version that I've read. This is again another dystopian, so I read three dystopians in a row. I like dystopians. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the concepts. I think it's something that could happen if it hasn't happened already. Basically, these, again, these women are basically said they, they get money basically for being pregnant and having these babies from uh, rich people. Uh, yeah, it's a good premise. There are some parts I thought, oh, look at that, look at that beautiful front cover, that I thought were a bit dodgy, such as panic attacks are not represented well at all, but that was the only flaw I felt, a bit slow in areas, apart from that, I enjoyed it. Books, baguettes, and big bed, bed bugs. Can't speak. Uh, Shakespeare and Company is one of my favourite bookshops in the entire world, and this is written about that. It's a memoir of a crime writer slash journalist slash don't know what he's doing with his life person, Jeremy Mercer. Look at that front cover. Look at the light. Look at the light coming through. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful book. Yeah, uh, it was a lovely little insight to the shop and an insight to George Whitman, who ran the bookshop for a very, very long time. He died when he was like 100. Oh, we've moved on now though. Uh, yeah, excellent. Tao Teaching. So this is basically the manifesto for, I say manifesto, for Taoism, uh, Eastern philosophy, religion, that kind of thing. It's basically, I don't know, maxim, is that the right word? Lots of tiny little maxims that you saw there about how to live your life. I enjoyed it, but at the same time, I did understand most of it, if I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I think I would enjoy a different translation, to be honest, one that's more simplistic because this just felt too complicated for my liking. But yeah, I wanted to read this book for a very long time, so enjoyed that as well. So those are the books that I read. I hope you enjoyed this video, this kind of video. If you did, let me know down below. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.